Thanks for selecting the free AirMed flight planning app. In only a few minutes, this video tutorial will show how to start using AirMed. At the bottom of AirMed screen, buttons are available to quickly select any feature. You could search for any airport, toggle between planned flights and recorded flown flights, view airport approach plates, access community social features, search aviation events, manage your aircraft, configure AirMet, and also view the manual. After installing AirMet and activating your free account, AirMet will display you the list of your planned flights. You could plan and store as many flights you want. They will be synced with your web account, so you could also access them from AirMet Web Flight Planning. At launch, a first example flight is created. We will define it together. When you select a flight, an aviation map is displayed. It is centered on your home airport or on your country if you have not defined your home airport. You could zoom in to view more details. For example, if you zoom enough, via far away points will appear. You could click on any point to display its characteristics. For an airport, you could display its runways, frequencies, weather, and all its charts. More details are available by clicking on the Eye Information button. On the map, you could click on any airport to define it as departure airfield. When the departure airfield is defined, you could pan the chart to find your destination airport and set it as destination airfield. When both departure and destination airfields are defined, your flight is now planned. Your magenta route track will be shown on the map and you could view your navigation log, weather and NOTAM. Instead of using the aviation map to define a flight, you could also use the flight planning form. For example, let's plan a new flight from Friedrichshafen, Echo Delta November Yankee, to Strasbourg, Lima, Fox Sierra Tango. From the flight list, clicking on the Add button will add a new template flight to the list. Let's open this template flight. The aviation map is displayed. By clicking on the Edit tab, at the top left, we will access the flight planning form. This form is very complete and may be used to define all your flight parameters. You don't need to fill in all fields. Just enter Echo Delta November Yankee in Departure field and Lima Fox Sierra Tango in Destination field. This is enough to have our flight plan. It's a good idea to also indicate the planned flight altitude as AirMed will use it for its computations. Once your planned flight is defined, the weather tab on the top is activated. It will display all weather data pertaining to your flight, meter and TAF for departure and destination airports, area segment, significant weather charts, wind charts, satellite picture, and radar reflectivity. You could easily switch from one category to another one using the tabs at the bottom. Subtabs are available to browse through charts and images in different categories. Displayed weather data will be catched and available offline during your flight in the next hours. AirMet is automatically fetching weather data worldwide such winds, TAF and METAR, those data are also available offline during flight. When selecting again the aviation map using the map tab, it is possible to view global weather information. Zooming out will display weather dots for all weather airports, green for VFR status, red for IFR and yellow in between. Using the latest button, at lower right, it is possible to display wind barbs on top of the map. For which altitude and time may be selected, 
and also to select the radar reflectivity layer when available in your country. The NOTAM flight displays the NOTAM and other information such as tube ARP or temporary flight restrictions. Bottom tabs allow to display NOTAM at departure, destination, en route or roll. If you have indicated in the flight planning form the planned flight altitude, Hermit will use it to filter NOTAM affecting your flight altitude. Soup ARP or TFR may also be viewed. The log tab will display the navigation log that will first include only departure and destination airfields. The next step is to indicate all points of your route. As for defining the flight airports, you could select the points on the aviation map or enter their identifiers in the route field of the flight planning form. On the map, you could click on any point and then select the Add to Route choice to add it to the route. Even simpler, you could rubber band the route with your finger to any location. If the location matches a known point, it will be added. Otherwise, Airmed will create a temporary personal waypoint at the selected location and add it to the route. The navigation log is updated in real time with the points you just added. You could click on the warning tab to view for each route segment the crossed aeronautical areas or no tab. The profile view button will display the terrain profile and aviation areas along the route. These displays make use of elevation data on the route when you open a planned flight, Hermit will propose to download the elevation data in the area, if not already stored. We have finished to plan our flight. When we are ready to taxi, we will switch Hermit from planning mode to flight mode using the aircraft button at the top right. In flight mode, Hermit will display the aircraft location on the map and a navigation panel showing heading, altitude, speed, current leg, next point distance, and ETE. At the end of the flight, after broken, click again on the aircraft button at top right of navigation panel to end the flight. Airmate will save your recorded flight data and you could replay the flight later. You could also switch to flight mode anytime from the flight list by clicking on Start Flying Now button without defining the flight data. Another video will provide tips on how best use Hermit during flight.